Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for July 5th through the 11th. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, guys, definitely check out your other placements. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future. We'll clarify that. Once we finish with that spread, I'm going to pick that up. We'll get into your person's energy, your energy, the possible outcome, as well as the romance angels and some oracle cards. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate for all the people watching. Um, hopefully some will. So I do do personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the information is in the description box. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your support, all your likes, shares, comments, subscribes. I can't tell you how much that means to me. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, I hope you'll stay. All right. This is for Aquarius. One more shuffle. Let's see what's going on for you for this week. Your energy. Why did I just see the Three of Swords? Okay. Let's see what's going on. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, and the Judgment card. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. There it is. Three of Swords right in the center. I saw it before we even pulled it out. It's right dead in the center of your reading. The Five of Pentacles in reverse, and then the Three of Swords in reverse with the Emperor card. And then we have the Chariot in reverse with the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Five of Wands. So the overall energy is the Eight of Wands. You could feel like things are really, really slow right now. So the next week, somebody cut somebody off. I, feel, I definitely felt it before we got started when I said, why am I seeing the Three of Swords? Something just recently happened or there's some heartbreak, some pain that is starting to brew back up. This could be because you've been hearing videos that are saying your ex is coming back or someone you love is coming in or you're going to get a message and there's been nothing. There's no communication. Right now, things just seem to be slowing down. Something needs to shift in your energy. Um, I don't just want to do tarot readings. I want to help people understand why things don't happen at the speed that we want them to. It really does. There is a plan. So... If we try to force things forward, they're not going to work out the way that they're really meant to. And I think this type of a break is probably what's best for you. You probably are saying the same thing. Like, I could see somebody shaking their head. Like, it's better to cut off the communication and take a step back. If things aren't working out right now, somebody needs a break. And it could be you. But right, I do feel right now that your energy feels kind of sad or definitely hurt by something. Now, I'm going to get deeper into this and let's see what's going on for you. So the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, and the Judgment card. Something has created your, um, I, I want to say spidey senses. What it is basically is you're protecting yourself. So where you may have given of yourself and connected with somebody and tried to um, give of yourself intimately. And when I say that, if you've listened to a couple of my readings, I've been saying this a lot lately, when the Queen of Wands comes up in reverse. It shifts for me with cards during the shifts in energy. So in this case, I'd say you're holding back. You don't want to share too much of yourself. The Page of Pentacles could be that you were so innocently walking into a new beginning and you were very hopeful, but something happened. The Judgment card is here, so... The universe could have come in and created a, a scenario that either that person was in a third party and you found out or something happened that created a distance and a cut in communication. And I feel like you are the one who's holding back or has cut somebody off because something came about. You had to make a really difficult decision and it feels painful. I'm not going to lie. It just feels like something's really hard for you right now. Now, I just heard somebody could have lost a relative recently, and if that's the case, I'm so sorry. I know that that's a general thing to say with thousands of people watching, and I don't always say it in my readings. If you did just recently lose someone, I just heard an aunt, then I am so, so sorry. There could be some things that have to be decided around that person. Now, they're bringing up also that there could be something um, about having to take care of property or not money's necessary. It's going to be about money too, but there's some family discussions that need to be had around that situation. So who's going to get what or what's left to who? And it just seems kind of complicated. So that could be part of why some of you are feeling pain because something like that could be going on. 
we'll get some clarifiers and see. All right, so in the current energy, we do have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, and then the Emperor. This is you taking back your control from a situation that was painful. Um, there's a part of me that feels like when you cut somebody off, you just cut them off. Like you're not going to go back for more. Once somebody's done something like this and you're fully aware of it, some people do want to work things out and that's okay. That's on them. But in this case for you guys, I'm going to say whoever this was, uh, -uh. Um, you're standing there on your throne like, uh, nobody does this to me. I'm not going to come back for more. Like I'm walking away. This, this hurt, but I'm going to get over this. So your current energy feels like it's healing from whatever's going on and you're just taking back your control. So we'll also clarify that. Now the chariot in reverse with the nine of swords and then the five of wands. So in the near future, it feels like there's still some stuck energy. Even though you've cut this off and you made a clear decision, it could be just kind of tough to move forward. But with the nine of swords in reverse, this is getting rid of that, at that energy. So even though the chariot's in reverse, that could be the, what you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a cancer, as well as a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I also have strong fire here as well as Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, Aries, and uh, Leo. So the drama is just too much. And it could be that that person wants to create more drama because you aren't opening yourself up. And if they do want to come back, I don't see any motion for someone coming back right now, but that doesn't mean that they won't. This could also just represent a little bit of internal conflict. Um, they just said something about you could have competition at work or somebody's competing with you at work. That could be a cancer that you're dealing with as well. Um, I'm feeling strong Taurus energy too. So you could be dealing with someone um, at work that has power issues, control issues. And that could be creating that little bit of drama for you in the work arena. But as far as this relationship, it does seem like something's going to pop up in the near future that might create a little bit of stir. So this is kind of that forewarning. Not a guarantee, just a forewarning. All right. So let's get into the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. All right. I feel like you... When this started out for whoever this is for, meaning the ones that are actually dealing with this situation, it, I feel like that person came in seeming very honest. You could have been in this relationship, sorry, for a long time. And this is something that just recently happened. I'm getting a couple different scenarios, so let me see. For those of you where this is done, it's done, and you don't want to repeat this cycle, obviously. But for some of you, um, it was short-lived and it happened very quickly. So take it however it resonates for you. But I, I think this person came in seeming as though they were pretty stable, like they wanted this start with you. And it could have seemed so in the beginning and then things just shifted and changed and boom, it was like something came out of the blue. Yeah, the tower. So something came in that tore this apart. And it does feel like someone either cheated or... There could have been just someone who came in and created a, a dramatic situation from friends, family, something, somebody told someone something. So they could have come to you. Let me give you the scenario. They came to you and told you that this was happening. It created lots of drama, created arguments with you and other people, but it was there to help you see the truth about this person. And then we have the eight of swords. You're not stuck. This is beautiful. So the world is all about moving forward and starting a new cycle. And I think once this happened to you, you realized that you weren't going to stay stuck. It could also be that things are shifting for the better. Like this is closing out in order for you to move forward because something better is going to come towards you. We'll see as we get into um, the energies of someone that might be on your mind. You may have already met somebody new if you've closed this out. But there's some good things that are coming towards you. It's gonna be different for all of you. That just tells me that you're done and you're moving forward. All right, so we're gonna clarify the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords in reverse. So we have the Seven of Wands. That's you standing up and defending yourself when it comes to what you want in a relationship. The Judgment card in reverse. So this could have been a marriage. 
is what I just heard. And with the Four of Wands and the Judgment card, that tells me there's a possibility that there was a filing, a divorce. Um, if this hasn't completed yet, it's coming to a completion in the near future. I feel like you're defending your choices about why you want to walk away from this. Obviously, if somebody's done something like this to you, you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. What you want in a relationship is stability, a true partner. And if someone's going to pull this kind of crap on you, obviously you're not going to stay in it. So your energy is very much about currently defending yourself, whether it's to other people or just to friends, family, whatever it is, it feels like you need to stand up and say, this is how I feel. If you guys don't like it, tough. I know what I want in a relationship. It could be to the partner as well. And you could just say, you know what? I'm cutting this off. I want out of this marriage. I want out of this relationship long term. It did not turn out the way that I thought it was going to. Like, I don't know what to, and this isn't me saying this. I'm saying you're probably telling that person, I don't know what to tell you. You screwed up and I'm done. All right, so let's clarify the chariot in reverse. Something could have been stalled. So if, if you were planning on traveling, there could be a delay in that. Maybe you had a trip that the two of you were supposed to take and that didn't happen. Or it's not going to happen now, clearly. There could be an argument about that as well. Maybe having to uh, cancel the plans and that's creating some kind of argument. All right, so let's clarify the chariot. We've got the page of wands in reverse, and then we have the page of swords in reverse. And then the world card again. You're moving on is making somebody really, really not happy. I was gonna say angry. The page of wands in reverse and the page of swords. When you shut someone like this down and they can't have the opportunity to get back at, like get at you, their energy turns into very immature, um, irresponsible type of behavior and that's where the five of wands comes in this is things not getting off the ground like they're not going to restart um, this person wants to speak up but doesn't like they I feel like you're dealing with somebody who could be younger than you but I feel like they just kind of play games and they play games around like their their passions their um, how they speak, what they're just not clear about a lot. It's almost like they've held back, maybe they held back in the marriage and you felt like things just never felt fresh and it got to this point and then you realized, okay, well that's because their energy was elsewhere. Now, do I think that they might want to come and speak to you? There's always a possibility, but in this case, I'd say right now this person's kind of holding back. All right, so let's get into your person's energy, whoever it is that you have on your mind. Now, it could be the same as what's in the spread or it could be something completely different. All right, this is for Virgo. This is for Virgo. All right, so their energy is coming up. It's the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Star in reverse, the Fool in reverse, and the Knight of Cups. There's that energy of someone wanting to move towards you and offer you love. Now you show up the Queen of Wands in the upright with the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles. The Four of Cups in reverse. So this person does not bring a lot to the table. I think they withheld a lot of emotionally. They probably were offering their cup, like I said in the, in the main reading, other places. So if it's the same person, that person does not bring everything that they should to the table. And I think that's what you're cutting out of your life. Now, if this is someone, at, this is for the people who might be dealing with someone now. Whoever this is might be withholding some truths. If you have any questions about whether this person has secrets, the star in reverse, the moon is usually about the secrets, but the star in reverse can be the same. This can be somebody who doesn't have clarity about what they want in a relationship. So if you're questioning what they really want, I feel like they're holding back. I don't think they're telling you everything. They're afraid to move forward. This is somebody who's a little bit, not just immature, but I feel like they don't know how to deal with love and intimate relationships. The fool is somebody who doesn't like to take chances in reverse. So they could be someone who just doesn't, like there's no excitement because they don't like to take chances in life. But 
after all of that, they still want to come forward and offer you something. So wherever this energy is coming from, I'd say just be cautious because that's what's behind them as they're coming towards you with this cup of love. So if they decide they want to come and speak to you or if you're open to the idea of it, I'd say be cautious because this person seems to be holding back some things. Now your energy is the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Magician in the reverse, and then the Nine of Pentacles. So you on either side of this are looking amazing. This is you looking really good right now. So you're taking care of yourself. You're passionate about moving forward. What didn't make you happy is in the past. You're letting it live there. And the Magician in reverse is trying to gather the strength to move forward and manifest the things that you want. And the Nine of Pentacles tells me that you're going to. This is about your stability. You're looking great right now. And I know this person sees it. They see you as being stable, independent, attractive, passionate. You have a lot of things to offer. And they know that. But they could be holding back. So just in case you have any questions about what it is, it doesn't seem to me to be anything too dramatic. But it could just be things that they need to get out in order for there to be clarity in the relationship. Like I said, they're not bringing everything to you. All right, so let's get into the Romance Angels and see what they have to say. All right, this is for Aquarius. All right, so we have codependency. Not surprising. That's a little bit of a, a toxic energy. Calling in your soulmate, passion, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And then we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So... If you've hung around this long and you're in the single situation, this is somebody maybe from the past that you're just curious about, I feel like you're moving on. Now, the person that you were dealing with, that's probably what it is that they need to speak on. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. It could be that they do have some addictions. Maybe you're wondering and you're not 100% sure. And that's just saying, yeah, there's probably a good possibility. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So... This person has some work to do before. If you believe this is a soulmate and you want to work this out with this person, that stuff has to be cleared up first. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And then heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That, I think, is going to be necessary, obviously, for this to move on. If you don't want this person back, I get it. There could be somebody new that's moving towards you with that Knight of Cups that just has come out of something and... You'll be curious when you meet them. They could also have some codependency issues, maybe in relationships or drinking. So just be cautious. That's all I'm saying. Keep your radar up. All right. All right. So let's get into the Lover's Oracle. Let's see what messages we have for Aquarius with the Lover's Oracle. All right. This one's coming out. It says passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. I think that's you. I think you're just a magnet in general. Whether you're in a relationship or wanting to move into new love, that's what I was seeing. You're very, you're looking good. You're taking care of yourself. You're like a, a magnet for new love if you're interested. All right, so we have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. Okay, so if that's meant to be and that's how you feel about that person, it might be worth having a discussion if they do come towards you. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is your wisdom of the oracle. What last messages do you have for Aquarius? So we have yin, deep knowing, blessed, and community, and then we have to be fair. So the to be fair... If this is not the person from the main reading that cheated or was a third party and it's someone you just are hoping will work out, there's definitely that conversation. Like I said, you have to get things out on the table so that it's it's fair. So both of you are coming into this honest and open. The yin balancing out those masculine and feminine energies. This is about two. I do feel like it's two people coming together, deep knowing. I think you know deep down inside if this is a healthy person and things did not work out and you want to reunite that there is a deep knowing that you're connected to them and would like that it, things could work out. Blessed, 
That's beautiful. I mean, you know you're you are blessed. You're looking fantastic. You're stable. You're independent. You know you're blessed. And when the right thing is meant for you, I think you're willing and open to waiting possibly. Two, two, two. Could be seeing that a lot. Now we also have community. This could be just wanting to spend some more time going out. Things have opened up. I feel like you're okay where you are. Even if this doesn't come together, you know you're blessed and that something beautiful is going to come towards you. Now, like I said, if you're in this relationship currently, there are some things that need to be discussed and you may recognize that there are some red flags. So that's those heart-to-heart -heart conversations that you need to have. Other than that, it looks like you're moving forward and really doing well. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much again for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. It's so great for the channel and it's the support is amazing. I love you guys so much. Um, if you'd like a personal, like I said, I do them. That's in the description box below. I hope you have a great week and I will see you in next week's reading. Take care.